Okay, so where is that? Come on. It's very natural that um, we don't understand how this element selection will happen and it's very complicated for some times to do to to help us out there is a plugin puppeteer recorder and in this video i will show how can we use that to detect the first element of the list and perform the click event this is foizul welcome to our channel we already showed how can we do the searching now we have the puppeteer recorder 0 to 1 and press record we want to click the first element of the result so it came now let's stop the recording and you can see it created the code for me let's copy it and just test it over here so you can see the term is like here it is the b results b underscore results what did i write okay and there is a term this one i missed this one yeah i'm a backend developer you understand that correctly and b dot algo sorry b underscore algo yeah that's right and nth child first we want to click the first child yes and then again, again child h2 and a let's say we don't have to press the strong tag and there is another thing h point to navigation what is it it is above the search so maybe here and it works like I wait this one after having the click so page dot go to okay And we we'll already have the console log of that selector. Let's see what happens. If we have any error, we will dig it, dig that. Why is it taking that much long? I don't get it. In my practice session, it didn't take that much time. Maybe it's night. Okay, let's try different way. Let's check the code again. Uh, wait for two, two second, two second. Delay. Enter. Press. Da, 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 done. Okay. Let's see in the next video. As you can see in the last video, I have copied the selector string and pasted over here. And let's see how it goes. So let's open. the Bing search again one done so here it is you can see the console log we have set a console log over here 
if we try to understand uh, the first look I couldn't understand a lot of things but we have to understand one by one slowly so this is the element which came from the console log and then it is gone so that's it and then we wrap it as element and we perform the click on that element we wait for the navigation and we wait for the page and close and close so that's it very easy and very uh, intuitive just recapping the whole thing we are regarding the whole puppeteer uh, we are setting the height and width for the browser and we are setting the viewport for the page and we go to the bing.com wait for the promise wait for two seconds we try to grab that text box search text box and we put this book 365 and we press the enter is the page enter not this this text box enter is the page enter uh, that means the page the page will press enter wherever the cursor is then we will wait for the selector after it came to the page and visible then we get that element that means we, all, we, we already saw that in our last video uh, then we do the console log over here and we check if it is null if it is not null we go and perform the click and then we wait and then close very easy and intuitive so that's it uh, i will try to learn a lot of things more and show you guys so keep keep subscribed in our channel and keep me posted in our page facebook page so thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullah